In this video, we're going to be showing how to use a stored procedure to insert information into a table. And uh, here's the code. I'm going to basically be deleting everything from this table called customer types. And then I'm going to be calling a stored procedure called insert into customer types. And it has uh, four parameters that I'll be passing in, and then I'm going to do a select. But before we do that, let's just take a look at this stored procedure and see what it looks like. We'll go to stored procedures, we'll go to this insert into customer types. It's pretty simple. As far as stored procedures go, this, this is not a huge one. You could make something a lot more dynamic and sophisticated than this. Uh, but basically, you notice I have comments. Always comment with the date so you remember what you're doing. Uh, name of it, insert into customer types. These are the four parameters that I'm passing in. A display, a description, a visible, and an order. Now let me show you something up here. Those are four of the fields that are in here. See display, description, visible, and order. Modified isn't something that I wanted to add when I do an insert, and created gets added automatically. But if you notice here, in this stored procedure, all it's doing is it's taking these four variables, or these four parameters, or arguments, whatever you want to call them, uh, and it says insert into customer types, which is the table, and into these four fields, and then it says select, and then it selects all four of these parameters. So what it's basically doing is passing in these values that you pass into the stored procedure into the table. It's really that simple. However, notice the first two parameters are bear cares. The third one is a bit, and the fourth was one is an int. But see the equal signs? This means that we're passing in default values. So that means that we don't have to really pass in something for each of these if we don't want to, but we'll cover that later in another video. I just wanted to explain real quick what that was. Okay, so very simple stored procedure, passing in these four values and they're going to jam it into a table. So let's see how this works. I'm going to delete everything from this table and then I'm going to insert this one record and there we go, boom. And that's really all that there is to it. 